Hi, welcome to Inspiration Retreats with Shari. I'm your host, Dr. Shari, and I am super delighted that you tuned in again today for another treat from the Lord. Our daily treat for Friday, July the 24th, 2020 is I Miss Neowise. Okay, Neowise is a comet that is said to be visible once in a lifetime. I thought how interesting it would be to see it. So for weeks, something would always come up when I would try to observe it. It's been around for weeks now in our night sky. Then this week, I was determined to see it. Many astronom astronomers, they recommended viewing it just after sunset and with the naked eye. But you can see it or use binoculars also. Okay, so each day would pass and I could not find it. So July 23rd was marked as the very best day to view the comet from Earth. My last opportunity. It was here. I was making preparations all day long to go outside to watch for the comet. You will never believe what happened next. Yep. A torrential downpour of rain that lasted for two hours or more. The storm lasted for well beyond the viewing time frame, so it just it, it didn't happen. This was stunning because the storm was not in the forecast, nor did my any of my alerts to let me know about rain or storms coming did not sound off. This is when God started tapping on my heart and reminded me that the only event that I need to cherish in my lifetime is when I accepted Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. Okay, Lord. <laughs> He's right. Jesus controls the rain, the day, the night, and any extraordinary event like a comet. Wow, God. I needed that. Thank you for loving me so much that I missed your comet, but never missed Jesus. He is visible to all of us in our hearts every day. Our scripture for this day is from Philippians, the third chapter, the 20th and 21st verses. But our citizenship is in heaven, and we eagerly await a Savior from there, the Lord Jesus Christ, who by the power that enables him to bring everything under his control will transform our lowly bodies so that they will be like His glorious body. God bless you.